but if I okay, if I someone buys me a, a PC with a HD camera or something like that. So so okay, like what I said, so now we we understand that there's a negative correlation. If so, you must watch the another, another video of correlation so that you understand what am I what am, am I talking about? So we, we now we we know that there's a negative um, correlation uh, between these two variables as age increases, um, anxiety decreases. It was uh, minus point six six. Yeah, I think I wrote six seven. So it was a mistake. So six six. So that's go and read what does it mean. So it's a negative. So you can you can um, explain correlation terms of 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 its direction, size or magnitude, also shared variance. So shared variance is coefficient of determination, and also you can the significance of that. So let's let's just move to what I want to do now. So these are the variables that we have, but maybe someone say, what if my child is ten years? What what is the score? We don't have that, so you can use the regression model to predict that. If someone said, "Okay, what what if my child is two years old? What is the score?" So we can use that. So we we regression we it's used to predict. So we predict um, an outcome variable using the predictor. So the predictor is the age, and then the outcome variable is anxiety go and read about that so you go to data data analysis uh there's regression somewhere there is regression yeah and then you click on okay and you must be careful you must be very very careful don't don't blame me when uh something happened to so you must be you must understand what is the y what is the x so the x is the predictor variable of which is age here. It's, so it's, it is age. And then the outcome variable is the Y, is the anxiety. Most of my students, they make a mistake. They just take the first one and then the second one. So your answer will be wrong. So please take this one. So this is the outcome variable. So you, you click, don't release the case that you drag down and then release it. You, you click in here. So you, you click on this one, you, you do the same. So uh, let's let's ignore the other things for now. So the, this confidence level means that uh, we are ninety five percent confidence that our results, the model is predicting, it's not by chance. So we leave ninety five percent for error. I'm I'm going to explain that. Let's leave that for now. I don't want to confuse you. But as we move forward, or if you have other if you have questions, <clears throat> feel free to email me and. Okay, let me drink water. I'm trying to drink at least a liter of water per day. Today's 10th of January, 2019. I'm trying. Um, <clears throat> so, so I'll explain this as we move forward. So 95%, we are confident that our results are not by chance. So everything, almost everything that we do in statistics is comparing variance and 